Well, first, let's talk about a positive career high for you, and you really kept the Lakers in this game in the first half. What went right for you offensively? Well, first, I always got to thank the man above for the uh, ability to just have a clear head and just trying to go out there and help my teammates um, try to pull together a win. But my teammates helped me out a lot. They had confidence in me to give, give me the ball, give me the ball in open spots and on the break, and um, just felt like it felt good for me. If, I don't know if you looked at the stat sheet, but you guys out rebounded them on the offensive boards 22 to 8, and you took 23 more shots than they did. Where'd the game get away? Oh, uh, I think uh, they just made more plays at the end of the game. I think we were into the game, and uh, we made a lot of plays down the stretch. And uh, of course, they just made more plays. They made more plays at the end of the stretch. They made tough shots. Uh, and B did a great job in the post, and uh, we really didn't have an answer for him down low. Um, I was going to ask you about that because you were one of several guys that tried to help. You guys were sending second double teams from left, right, sideways. What was the problem trying to contain him specifically? Uh, he's a really good player with a really good skill set. I think uh, I helped side which wasn't there early enough. I think we was a step slow on that a little bit. But uh, with a guy like that, uh, I think you have to just send different defenses, defenses just to try to stop what he's doing. Um, really tough night for Lonzo. When that happens, do you say anything to him about it or just let it go? Uh, we just keep trying to pick his head up during the game. I think uh, it's important to eat myself sometimes to try to uh, get out of it. Just know there's more game in, in the game, and I get in that situation sometimes also. So uh, we just try to pick him up during the game and see if he can snap out of it. But the good thing about it is we have another game in, a, in another day, and uh, he can get back to it and be better. The thing I've been asking you guys about all season is free throws and turnovers. You fixed both things. You were great from the free throw line, great taking care of the ball. What do you want to focus on now that you got those two boxes checked? I'll just continue to do that, continue to worry about us, um, continue working on our defense and, and our offensive schemes and just keep getting better and better each and every day. Thanks. Brandon, what's been the constant when you're able to get going offensively? What's kind of the, the, the constant in those games? Um, just me being relaxed, me being relaxed, uh, not thinking so much about the last shot that I missed, think about the next play. Uh, my teammates, I think my teammates give me the confidence to make plays like that and just keep me going. And um, I think when they get going, I get going. You said Alonzo had a good or bad night. He usually seems to be pretty mellow, pretty even keel, but tonight it's a little bit different. Like, like it was bothering him more than it normally has. Have you noticed that tonight? Of course, and that's all players. I think he wanted to be in the fight tonight. Uh, he wanted to go back out there and just try to be better out there. And uh, that's what good players do. Um, of course, I think he's going to go back and look at this film and just try to be better and practice more and be better in that game. Is there any rivalry between you and Ben Simmons? I mean, he was the number one pick, the number two pick. Kind of gets forgotten because he missed some time. But when you have a matchup like today, do you get a little bit more engaged? I don't think so. I think it's important for me to just try to attack every matchup the same way. Um, just uh, be extra confident in myself with no self-doubt and just uh, just take what the de defense gives me. Brandon, uh, there were a couple plays that you went to the rim, you absorbed the contact, and you were still able to make the shot. Last year, you might not have been able to do that as often. Was there, was there a realization point this year when you, when you recognized, okay, I can, I can take that contact, I can still make that shot? Oh, well, actually, it happened uh, last year around April, May, uh, when Magic came in and told me how I could use my length over uh, uh, over um, defenders, and I just tried to do that tonight to try to get in the paint, attack the rim, just drop the basketball hard, and then and I converted some layups.